Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another successful new signatures information session for the 2023 competition. My name is Punza Sidogi and I'm joined by my colleague Kate Tablanch and during this very cold day we will be engaging with what you can expect as a potential entrant of this awesome competition. And for today, we'll be covering a very important topic uh, and uh, that deals with a very important phase or process within the competition, which is the judging process. Um, and so, Kate, there are several questions, of course, that uh, we need to, to cover for our potential entrance. Um, so, yeah, can you yes. introduce us? Yes, all right. Hi, everyone. Hi, Funza. Thanks. Um, yes, so this is actually where it's crunch time is the judging process. Um, and I think there are quite, always quite a lot of uh, questions about, you know, mm. the process. So mm. I think let's maybe start by talking about. Um, so we have regional judging rounds and we have a final judging round. That's right. So um, and we have different judges. So maybe you can just talk to us a little bit about um, first of all, the judges, you know, how yeah. the judges are selected and who yeah. they are and mm. so forth. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's an excellent place to start. Um, indeed, because the, the judges play a significant role in this competition, perhaps the most important, important role of all, because they are the ones that select the artworks that go in uh, the into the regional or through the regional judging round. And of course, they are in charge of selecting who will be the ultimate winner of the of the competition. So yes, let's engage a little bit with with the the judges. So each year um, the organizing team meets and deliberates on who to choose uh, as part of the first regional judging round, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. And then also for the final judging round. So we've got two sets of judges. We've got judges that engage with, with regional and judges that do the the final judging round. And our criteria when uh, looking at uh, potential judges is really individuals who are experts in the field, um, individuals who are coming from a diversity of backgrounds within the the industry of the visual arts. You would you would know this, Kate. We 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 have uh, institutions of higher learning that play a important role in training and cultivating artists and curators and writers. But at the same time, we have uh, many other uh, sectors within the space, like the publishing domain, uh, which are in charge of uh, the publishing domain th that is in charge of producing mm -hmm. books and magazines and um, just the, the important uh, literature that is coming out about artists and our 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 art history and we've got the the gallery industry as well so yes. i won't go through all of them but i'm just uh, giving an indication that when we select the judges or uh, appoint the judges we really look at these um, sub uh, fields within the the visual arts space and and select judges that um, are coming from these uh, diverse backgrounds so that we can ensure that the, the judging panel um, is, is looking at the artworks from multiple perspectives. You don't just want uh, academics there. So we, we try and have one academic, we try and have one person who's got a curatorship background. And most importantly, we also select artists to be judges. Yes, the yes, practitioners. we do. Um, yes, we it, do. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. That is something that is important because at the end of the day, the artists are the ones that um, know the 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 uh, the, the what hard goes work. into that artwork? Exactly. Yes. The processes, <laughs> the, the blood, sweat, and tears. That's right. Yes. That's right. So we select artists. So so really, uh, our judging panels across uh, the the various judging uh, sites or collection sites around the country is is a, is is made up of, of of diverse individuals who are, and I should reiterate this this word experts in what they do yes. and, and really they they provide the most amazing insights and input uh, during the whole judging uh, uh, process, which we'll get to in 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 a in a moment. I don't know if there's anything that you'd like to add just about the judges themselves and, and 
Yes, yes. So I think I think that's that's very important for artists to know that you know their work will be judged by experts. So you know that's another thing is that they have to be right on on the ball when they yeah. they submit their 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 works um, because you know it's really being judged by people that are right at the top of their game. Oh, com um, and it's totally it, it's uh, the every single year we have new judges and so forth so um it's it's very very transparent um and you know i, I think very very a very fair system yes yes oh, oh completely and i yes. mean um we will get to to to, to the process in a moment uh, but uh, sometimes you know i i wish that the the entrance could listen to some of the comments that the judges make during the judging process because their comments are so edifying um, and could be so helpful to to some of the entrants. We of course have feedback sessions where mm -hmm. we try and, and crystallize uh, some of the 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 key takeaways that came yes. from the from the judging process. Uh, but I, I, this is just to reiterate the fact that they are experts. The kind of insight that they give during the judging process is really extraordinary and and really phenomenal. And um, and and as I say, it's it's actually feedback that could be extremely useful to even the the artists themselves. But of course. Because of the complexities of of the whole judging process, it's not always easy to. It's it's not practically possible. It's, it's unfortunately, not practically possible yeah, to get yes, that insight yes, through to yes. the to the entrance. Yes. Okay, so let's talk quickly about the 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 process. So yeah. um, let's talk about the regional. That's where yeah. everybody will be. So they've gone and submitted their works, um, and so what happens from there? Yes. So uh, very important this process. Uh, so, so uh, entrants need to understand that there are two stages of judging. So the first stage is at the reach is what we call regional judging round, and this happens at literally it happens directly at the collection points where the potential uh, entrants or the entrants will be taking their works. Uh, so at each of those collection sites, the seven collection sites, um, we will convene uh, a regional judging uh, round. Um, and what we we do each year is we select over and above us or, mem or a team members from the uh, uh, central kind of organizing uh, committee going to the region. We select judges from that region who kind of understand the the nature and the, the kind of uh, dynamics of art making that are taking place there, right? The, the art making that takes place in Cape Town is very different from what's happening in Bloemfontein, just because the, the spaces are different. So yes. you, you, you don't want to bring in a Cape Town judge to judge in Bloemfontein. <laughs> you want someone who's who's living and breathing that Bloemfontein a, to uh, to be in a position to, to give context and say when these artists are making this type of work it's because of X, Y, Z. So, so we have yes. experts from the region who form part of that uh, regional judging round. And, and, and really this regional judging round is critical because that is where uh, uh, works are selected that will then go on to the to the final judging round, right? And we'll, we'll talk about that uh, in a moment. But perhaps you you just want to emphasize again the, the, the significance of the regional judging round, that it should not be belittled. I, th I think this is actually so important. It's so important. Um, I think firstly, it's important for the artists that actually that don't get selected. Um, you know, you we, we tend to be very, very hard on ourselves um, and we bash ourselves and we say, oh, you know, I won't be able to become an artist or, you know, this is not for me or, you know, whatever. But if you go with the attitude that, you know, maybe there's a reason why my work wasn't selected um, and sort of be critical about that. Look at the, the work, the other works that have been selected and you can actually sort of like gauge for yourself as well where you really actually need to do some work you know um, maybe it's your technical aspects maybe it's the concepts or whatever um or maybe you just didn't adhere to all the requirements and that's why your your work was was you know not accepted and you know for you then to like sort of bash yourself up because of that small thing is really actually 
you know, don't don't do that. Don't do that. Um, just take that that experience and you know come back next year. Come back with a better portfolio, you know, and submit that's, again. Yes, that's the, yeah. that's the sentence. Come yeah. back next year, and, yes, and yeah. we'll, we'll we'll talk about it a little bit later um, in in another session when we talk yes. about the ingredients of a winning work. But that's the first ingredient to yes. enter again and again and again. again. But, yes. but we'll get yeah. to that. Yeah. And I think I think also for you know the artists that actually get chosen that get selected at the regional rounds, it's very very important because um, your work actually then goes um, to the Pretoria Art Museum. It, it gets included in this massive exhibition. We often have more than a hundred works on on display, um, and it gets actually documented in the catalogue. So we have a um, a paper catalog and it's also available in digital form and I would really actually recommend that artists that are really considering entering work that they go and have a look at those catalogs mm. before they come mm. um, because if you look at that you will definitely get a very good feeling um, for the type of works that that have been accepted mm -hmm. and you know the winning works what we're looking at and everything so amazing resource on the website um, are all the digital catalogs that that you can have a look at um, and yes that also forms part of your CV eventually you know mm -hmm. it's just such an amazing opportunity um, to have your work included in that exhibition even if you're not part of the winning circle that's, you know, right. it's just amazing. And all of that happens because of the regional judging of art. Yes. So, so basically what we're trying to bring across here is, is that yes, the, 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 the final round is, is, is important because that's where the, the, the eventual winners will be, will be selected. But actually the milestone, the key milestone is making it past regional round. And, yes. and this is, this is those actually, those are the judges you need to impress the most. Um, are the judges from the region. And again, to re-emphasize, we, we, we have an opinion as part of the judging panel that comes from the region. So, mm. so you you cannot in 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 some respects uh, misrepresent uh, stories from the region, thinking ah those judges that are coming from Gauteng they know nothing about Pulukwane. So we we are just going no, we will get uh, a judge that that is okay with uh, situations in in that uh, region of the country, and, and this has happened in the past as well, where where judges say ah oh, no this this the spelling that. Uh, that this person is using for a title, it, it is incorrect or it's inappropriate or it's culturally inappropriate. So the 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 judges really um, play at, at regional rounds um, play a fundamental role in ensuring that the quality of work that that goes through to the final judging round is is exceptional. And think of it, they are the ones that determine who will then be selected as a potential winner so so yes. the, these these regional judging um, um, sites are, are absolutely uh, mm -hmm. essential to to actually the uh, the overall standard that the competition stands for and we are always appreciative of of our judges from from the regional rounds then to move over very quickly after having said that the importance of now getting into the catalog being part of the final exhibition when regional judging round is is done, when the regional judging down round is done, the works are then collected through our logistical partners that for Stratford Van Lines and taken to the Petrora Art Museum where the final judging round takes place, where it's the final exhibition, but at the same time the final judging round. And there we again select a panel of highly esteemed, because this is the final round of highly esteemed individuals within the industry. Um, you can once again just go through the catalog to see some of the names of our previous. Uh, uh, at the back, they're all at the back of, Exactly. And it's it's really, it's your creme de la creme uh, in terms yes. of, of individuals and experts and professionals within the visual arts industry in our country, internationally renowned artists, curators, academics. Um, we, we really ensure that uh, uh, it, it, it is a team that is comprised of, of really the, the best that our field has to offer because they will, they will provide a critical 
perspective of what to what is happening in, in, in terms of the international art market and international art environment and and what remember the the competitions is really stand a stand in for what the is the is showcases the best of what South Africa has to offer. Yes. So these just these judges are the ones that that determine that that to say this is the best of what our country has to offer in terms of emerging talent. Now, very quickly about the process in that final judging round, because these are highly esteemed individuals, some of them tend tend to have very strong uh, opinions about uh, about about art and and what what constitutes good art, and some of those opinions are opposed to one another, which is a good thing. We we often have discussions that go on for hours. Uh, Kate, you've been part of this process for several years. You know, it's 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 not a it's not a straightforward process, but um, it's not an easy easy process. But uh, we have a system in place which we are not going to discuss in detail here, but just to inform our entrance that we have a system in place, a ballot system that we utilize that ensures um, a, a very fair and democratic process in how the winning work is selected. Firstly, we do not disclose the name of the artist to the judges. The artwork has to be viewed and judged in its own terms. Uh, so if I can use the adage of soccer, we play the ball and not the the, the player, right? So yes. we try and be fair. Yes. Um, so we, we do not disclose the, the name of the, the artist to the judges so that the, again, the judges can, can really evaluate that work without bias, without any kind of favoritism, because sometimes um, some of these judges come from institutions of high learning where some of the entrants might have have uh, might have studied, you know, that they, they, or, or some judges come from from a, a space of curating or maybe they are dealers and maybe they've 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 come across some of the work of, of some of these entrants in some platform or, or mm. so. On. So we we try as much as possible to 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 safeguard that. So what the the judges look at is the work and of course the synopsis, the artist statement, which we've talked about previously, the importance of that. Um, and then through a ballot system where the, the judges in order of priority say they want this work to be the, the winning work uh, and that, 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 that first work is allocated at points. Uh, this is a, it's a ballot and point system. As I said, we're not going to detail, but what this really does is it ensures that when all of the different opinions that the judges have um, of, of which work must win when it's put together and tallied together uh, with the help of uh, the Association of Arts, Pretoria, who oversees the, the whole process. So they are the observers to ensure that there is um, fairness in the process um, and transparency. Uh, that's when the, the winning work is, is selected or how this winning work is selected and and then the, the uh, runner-up and the five merit uh, awards. So I, I can I can dispel any myths or theories that uh, there's a certain type of favoritism to uh, a type of art artwork or a type of artist or artists that that come from from a certain region that those are the ones that 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 are going to be the winners. No, um, it's it's really a, a, a fair, open system and any of the judges that have been part of that process in the past can can certainly attest to it. I think it's also important to note that um, if the judges have a relationship with certain of the artists, say they have been involved with the artists, um, you know, studies, um, then they we would expect them to actually disclose yeah. that and then also to step aside for that that particular That's work, true. not to vote on that. So I think, you know, that is also, you know, uh, very, very important, you know, that we um, we we understand that the art community is relatively small, mm. um, so there will be um, times and there yes. will be incidents where the judge will actually know the work because it's one of their students or something. Yeah. Um, and in that case, then, you know, we we expect them to, you know, 
actually, you know, just stand back. That, and, that's right. Yeah, and, 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 yes, yes. And, and, and many of them do. So so perhaps as a as a final point, then our our plea to to the entrance is whilst we understand the importance of, of a signature on a on an artwork, uh, uh, to identify that artwork as belonging to a certain artist, while we, are, we understand that importance, we, we have a little request that uh, perhaps that signature go to the back of the work, um, uh, perhaps, especially if it's a signature that clearly identifies your name and surname, uh, and someone can then pick up who this artwork belongs to, perhaps that can sit at the back of the work. Um, ultimately, uh there, there will be if 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 um if if ever uh the artist feels very strongly that maybe it's a painting that they feel they definitely want to sign in the front they can have that opportunity post uh, the the whole process to to do that but it, it really does assist us um for for the point around uh, anonymity that i just talked about if if the work is not the name of the artist is not glaring there saying, oh, this work belongs to uh, person X or, or person Y. It's not it's not a crisis uh, in, in the past. This this has always happened. This is not a it's not a crisis when the name is identifiable, uh, but we prefer it not to to be in some cases uh, because it really does help the judges um, who we've had instances where, where judges see a work and, and because the name is not there, they don't realize that it's actually someone that they 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 they, they might know and then they they either say this work must be rejected or this work must be put in, but it just shows the the value of uh, of uh, anonymity. So with those uh, with those few remarks, uh, we once again encourage you to visit our website and the blog section to really engage with all of the amazing material that is there that will just help you understand the dynamics of the competition better. Um, but um, we can once again just reconfirm that everyone who enters this competition gets a fair shot at, at uh, Absolutely. At, at their work being seen, um, even at, at regional round, no matter how many works are there, we often stay there for, for hours, right? Um, because we want to look at each and every work and and and, and ensure that um, uh, each entrant has, has, has been given a fair opportunity to, yes. to do well in the competition. Mm. Mm. Absolutely. I think just in closing, I think yeah. an important thing is for um, us just to also mention the fact that so many of our winners have actually entered a number of times. Yeah. If you actually go and have a look, <laughs> <laughs> um, when you chat to them, I think every single winner has yeah. probably entered three, two, four three, times. four yeah. times, maybe even. So I think, um, you know, if if your work doesn't get selected, that's yeah. not the end of the world, yeah. you know, really just keep on it and just keep on improving your work, keep on working on your career and, yeah. you know, maybe we'll be seeing you. That's this right. Year. That's Hopefully. right. <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the best way to close this off. Thank yes. you once again for joining us and we wish Thanks. you all the best as you and get ready to enter your work. Thank you.